check out my mini hammock. What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you my mini hammock and how I made it. If you're not very familiar with hammocks, they're extremely simple pieces of equipment. If you watch my other video, I was working at a hammock manufacturing place, but they went south, so first thing to go was a lot of manufacturing people. But before I left, I was able to get some scraps and I made a teeny tiny little hammock. So usually hammocks about 9, 10 feet long. This guy is five and a half feet long. It's shorter than my height. I'm about six foot tall. This thing is shorter than I am. It's still very comfortable. All a hammock is, is just a square piece of cloth with a loop at the top and the edges folded over so they don't fray out. That's all a hammock is. So like I said, this hammock is five and a half feet long and it's four feet wide. All I did was fold over the sides and put a seam, put a stitch on it, and then I put a loop at the top And I put some webbing on it and some carabiners and boom, mini hammock. Something that's really cool about the mini hammock, as long as you can fit between the trees, you can fit in your mini hammock there. Like watch this. This these trees are what? Six and a six and a half feet six and a half feet apart? And I can still fit. Like ain't no way you're fitting a full size hammock in this kind of space. And like I said, I stick out of it, but hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's still just as comfortable as a full-size hammock. Yeah, you have the whole thing to sit down on. Can't get much better than that. So you can go down to your local fabric store and get material like this. It's just nylon material. I even got some of the ripstop like, camping material that they have there, and I made a hammock out of that, and it works perfectly. So really, making a hammock is super easy. If you can make it yourself, why not? Little caveat there, I did use the specialized machines they have at my work. This is a triple, sti triple chain stitch right here and a triple chain stitch to close up the loop at the top. But if you just had a single stitch and you went over about two, three times with some heavy duty thread, I think it would, might be able to work. And you just get some of the webbing. I, I've seen some of this webbing at like uh, hardware stores, things like that. Makes, get some webbing. You can put a knot in it, get some rope. Rope would work too. Put a knot in the rope, uh, sew the webbing together, a couple of uh, cheap carabiners and boom, you got yourself a hammock. Alright guys, well hey, thanks for watching this super quick video. Make sure to subscribe, more videos coming, and like always, have a great day, and good luck. Mm -hmm.